Large-scale military exercises between the United States and South Korea had been scaled back, almost to the point of non-existence since 2018, when there was a sudden improvement in relations with the DPRK. That detente quickly stalled, but the pandemic kept the resumption of large-scale war games on the back burner until now. The announcement they would be expanded again followed a summit between U.S. President Joe Biden and South Korea's leader Yoon suk yeol in which the two leaders also agreed that if Pyongyang pursued more testing relating to its nuclear and missile programs, there would be a deployment of more military assets related to U.S. extended deterrence. Which, according to a statement released by Biden's team, means the full range of U.S. defense capabilities, including nuclear, conventional and missile defense capabilities. However, President Biden did not rule out negotiations with the DPRK or even a meeting with its leader, Kim Jong-un. With regard to whether I would meet with uh, the leader of North Korea, that would be depend on whether he was sincere and whether it was serious. At their summit, President Yoon also signaled South Korea would join Biden's new trade initiative, the Indo-Pacific Economic Partnership, which aims to bolster supply line security, modernize infrastructure, strive for greener energy and technology, and fight tax evasion. Though Washington has also made it clear the agreement is aimed at curbing China's reach in the region. Officials in the Yoon administration say while South Korea is keen to join the framework, it will pursue separate bilateral trade talks with Beijing to ensure the deal does not damage existing arrangements with South Korea's largest trading partner, China.